Marie, Latrice is jealous of what? Really? Jealous of you? Girl, yeah, bye. Well, she's probably jealous of uh, a Essie, you know. I, I would be. You got Essie, the messy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. We keep it. I don't count. Hey you guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Courtney, and yes, I know I don't look like Courtney, but this is her. This is her real hair, and this is my husband. He does. You didn't get that hair from Latrice, did you? Chad, this is my hair, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Latrice hair probably better than mine. All right, you guys. So if this is your first time joining us, let me tell you what this channel is all about. This channel is about Courtney and Eddie. We do relationship topics. I bet y'all said, where is he going with that fish? I don't on know. <laughs> we do reviews, and right now we're doing Bell Collective, the reunion, which is better than the whole season. I don't know about y'all, but I was here for it. It went a whole lot left, right, turn, back, U turn. It did a lot in this um, episode on tonight, so I was here for it. In fact, we normally do the reviews the next day. So we was like, we had so much energy and so much to say. We was like, let's get on in here and talk about this hot mess. Well, it doesn't help. I had an energy drink. Oh, that's why you, okay. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of, I want to hit that sugar crash in a minute. All right, you guys. So um, if you hadn't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the co-ed family. That's Courtney and Eddie. And um, if you're watching us via Facebook, make sure you hit like and follow. All right, you guys? And go and check out our merch on coedwear.com. We got stuff going on over here. Coedwear, you guys. Go and check out this. All right, you guys. So, appreciate your Vanna, um Black. Eddie Black. Eddie Black. Don't do me like that. I'm not. I'm not. What's this? What's this? Inbox e dress. Inbox e dress. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this. Now, the ladies. Now, I know. I I, I kind of tried to look at their dresses and stuff. And to me, nobody was really dressed on point. I mean, Antoinette had all of that dress over there that was taking over most of the couch uh, with. She had like three dresses in one. To me, man. not hating, that was just too much for me, in my opinion. Man, that was just too much. Couch, I think it would have been a beautiful dress if you just cut half of that, you know, off. Um, Latrice dress, it was okay. Uh, Marie, uh, um, um, What's her name? Latrice. Like she was going to somebody um older person prom. Don't get um, start on squeaky voice. And and Tambra. I mean, I would actually just looking at them from where they're sitting. I would say Tambra dress probably would be the better fit for me. But you know, anyway. But okay. So let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all feel free to disagree. So they're opening up and they're talking about, you know, the ladies and their accomplishments. Of course, being entrepreneurs in Mississippi and, you know, boss chicks and, you know, all this this stuff. So they start off also, um, the next thing, they're, they're, I guess, going down later by later, whatever. So they're talking about um, Antoinette and how she has um, the accomplishment she's done with, like, the students, you know, um, you know, what is it, baby? Talk about that part. HBCUs by trying to help them out to get into dentistry because it's not a lot of black dentists, which is true. It's not, you know, and she's trying to just help students at HBCUs to crack into that field, which I think is a good idea. And I know Antoinette, she gets a lot of hate. She gets a lot of flack, but she do do some good things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it real. And I'm not taking up for who. I'm just keeping it real. Well, I think when Antoinette gets, you know, um, people, I wouldn't say a lot of hate, especially not for me. It's just that I don't give her hate. I don't hate on nobody. It's what they give us on TV. And at certain parts, I just feel that she adds on a little bit too much sauce. You know, she seems to be, you know, some parts of her acting. Or they all add a little bit sauce, man. Look at uh, Latrice and Latish and special uh, Maria. They all, ooh, don't, don't get me started with no. Tamela. Marie, Marie just, that's her. <laughs> but, um, so they're talking about, Egypt was saying that she did not know that it was, um, you know, um, that not enough black dental, dentistry right. or, you know, dentist. She didn't know that. You know, that was a thing. Yeah, it, it, it is a thing, you know. I mean, how many have you seen around here? Not that many. 
And so, but yeah, I think she's doing a good thing, man. So kudos to Antoinette on yep. that. All right, and they um um Egypt also spoke about her not, you know, of course being married to a white man and then the fact that she said she didn't want to have biracial children. She didn't want them to grow up like she did. Right. Well, she's not biracial. No. So um, I just don't understand her plight and, you know, what she said in that. I just didn't understand Well, like that. somebody said, you know, you're from Michigan. You get into an interracial marriage and you move to Mississippi. Yeah. Oof. Ugh. And then she said, then you, some of the question was asked too, and then you start a business, like, you know. In Mississippi? <laughs> yeah. And it's like, so she said, but I would rather start a business yeah, than I have a child. So, I don't know, it just didn't, it sounded something else is there, you know. Um, I don't know. Antoinette comes off like, I don't know, like, I don't know. She, it, she's a, a enigma. It's, she has a lot of unknowns about herself. I know. Is that what it is? When it comes to that, because it's just like, um, it just really didn't make sense why you, first of all, you're black, you dated a white man, then you married him, and you didn't think the outcome of having children, you know. Um, I just think she was just young and got caught up. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, that's a good analogy because she did say that she's gonna be thirty. She right. gonna be thirty. She gonna be thirty till she turns thirty five. Yeah, so yeah, like no, I'm yeah. quite sure we can Google her age and find it out. But they also t- asked about her. What is it? Ghana. Oh, Ghana, Ghana boo. boo. Yeah, because yeah, you know I used to say the word wrong. Yeah. So her Ghana boo. What you used to call it? I ain't gonna say. Iguana. <laughs> oh, no. That Iguana. Yeah, that's not that Iguana. <laughs> oh, no. well, come on, well, he ain't black. <laughs> <laughs> and so they talked about, you know, she said, "Well, it was fun. It was, you know, I guess it was he." It showed her that she still got yeah. it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And she, yeah. And he was able to help her, yeah. I guess, get back get out back there. Out and stuff. There, but yeah. yeah, I didn't see no real chemistry with them. To be honest, I you thought they were his friends. Yes, to be honest with you. So now let's talk about this hot, hot mess. So we get on the subject where uh, Marie, Marie, Egypt is talking to Marie about something that happened in the blogs that they think that Latrice kind of spilled the beans on that. <laughs> and as we went uh, back to rewind <laughs> it, note that um, on our television, yeah. the cable that we had, it said no data. So it wasn't even recording. So we had to go ahead and watch it live. So had we you know, went on. Oh, it it wasn't even recorded. We even had nothing and to so look called, at right okay, now. Yeah, I called Maria. She was pointing, her, pointing the finger at the trees. You did this. You did this. Yeah, and, and then the, the big twist at the end. And then, um, so now let's get into that. Now we went back and rewind and rewind. did a slow mo on what the, the blogger blog. said. Ooh, first of all, damaging. First of all, damaging. When we went on Twitter, like, like split ends, damaging. When we went on Twitter. <laughs> You know, like somebody said, this must be a Mississippi local thing because we don't even know who this blogger is, what he said, what he did. So, uh, we didn't, yeah, we didn't even know all this was going on Mm -hmm. till tonight. Yeah, I was like, what? I looked at her, what you know that? She looked at me, no. I was saying, well, come on, this should be some juicy tea here. Why we didn't know about it? So, um, so basically, look what was said. Go ahead and tell me. No, 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 you go ahead. I don't remember all that. All he said was that. He believed Maria was a fraud. She uh, she committed uh, fraudulent things when it came to government loans and like the she, PPP. Yeah, loans. and she broke and she lied about things and it's like man. And he said, "You want me to roast you?" He said, "I'm finna roast yeah. you." Yeah, and like I said, maybe he's a Mississippi blogger. Um, apparently, that's what it is because they know each other. You know what I'm saying? Because they say they knew. Uh, she knew uh, Latrice said yeah. I, he is not well she said he's a that person is a friend of a friend, friend. of a so friend so it gotta be somebody lo- yeah, yeah so it gotta be somebody local and uh man yeah it was it didn't look good it didn't make look. Uh, it didn't make Marie look good at all yeah. not at all not and, at all and Latrice you know um um well they talked to Letitia Letitia about it and so she said you know well they thought that everything was good they talked she talked to Latrice they had good conversation and stuff she didn't she would never think that Latrice would do spill that kind of information to the blog or anything and so, and so she said that um you know she was very very um 
um, you know, she she felt that Latrice had a good heart and she wouldn't do anything like that. But she said, but now I'm kind of side eyeing her and I really truly think that maybe she had something to do with it. And you know, some three way calls, you call this person, you call that person, whatever, whatever. And um, <clears throat> and Latrice, yeah. So she started um tearing up and stuff. But and she explained that you know she would never do anything like that. She's oh, trying to yeah. empower women. Yeah, she She's trying to you know, mm. of course, you know, build up women. She don't no. want to tear another woman down. Yeah. So she, she didn't do anything no, like that. So let's move on to where um, they talked about the hair incident. You know, I didn't see it, so I'll let you, you go. So going back, if you've seen the first or second, I think it was the very first episode um, where Marie supposedly bought some hair from Latrice um, hair hair shop. I think it's called Goddess hair or something like that and um she said you know she putting it on the, the mannequin i think she got a stylist there doing it whatever come to find out when she by the time she went to the brunch she's like you know this ain't the same hair this hair look a mess and um and so they talked about that of course going back you know um marie was saying that well, I think Egypt was saying, well, you know, it looks like you confronted her at that time. It seemed like you could have waited, you know, and stuff like that. And she said, well, I wasn't. But let's 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 talk about this part because I think it goes a a, a little bit uh, further down. So let's just go and loop this all together before we get to Tambra, because we could say her, huh, because ain't gonna be but a hot second talk about her. So the ladies were going back and forth, Tam, uh, Marie and Latrice. Egypt is trying to conversate, ask each one of them a question. But, you know, to me, Marie was gaslighting Latrice. She kept saying little stuff to try to get under Latrice's um, skin so to, to make her have a reaction to her. You know what I'm saying? To make So if somebody's saying, mm -hmm, that little girl over there talking, it's going to make you talk back. You know what I'm saying? Look at her. She over there jealous. Look at her having a jealous fit. Boo, that was you having a jealous fit. All that stuff you was... Popping up at your dress over there saying, that was you. You know what I'm saying? As they said, hit dog holler. You were saying everything about that girl that actually that was you. You jealous. Nobody's jealous of you. Who wants to be jealous of somebody that got a messed up marriage? A man seemed like he don't even want to be married to you. And you got uh, a, a whole bunch of children and grandchildren. Who wants to be jealous of that? Seriously. It's, it's, it's nobody. Nobody. So... When she's over there popping off, you know, uh, Egypt is saying, hey, y'all need to chill out because I'm trying to be um, respectful of y'all. Y'all need to respect me because I'm trying to, you know, answer the questions and stuff. And so, of course, Marie says something. Okay, I'm going to be quiet because that little girl, she needs she in elementary school. She don't know. And, of course, it's making Latrice act up, right? It's going to make her say something. So, at that point, it just, like, walked off. You know what I'm saying? So, they went to a commercial break. You acting like what Egypt? Like yeah, you can't get one in, in. I mean, you know, you went on your tangent. I, I let mean. you go. Uh, uh it's, it's just women stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, women, it's women stuff. So by the time they come back from commercial break, you know, um, Carlos came out and say, "Listen, ladies, <clears throat> we're gonna bring Egypt back out, but y'all gotta respect her. You know, what I'm saying she is the host. She got a job to do, and y'all need to respect her. So make sure that y'all, you know, calm down. Y'all don't need to be basically speaking over her. You know, ask the question." answer the question and she asked the question answer the question and let's move on to the next person so be respectful so you know we got to see a little um a scene of um carlos on there <clears throat> so because one thing that they did they pulled out unseen footage which i didn't see this well because it's unseen footage okay i, I get that okay but um, of course you didn't see it. I know, right? It said unseen. <laughs> what school you went to? You must be from Alabama. <laughs> so, and what and, and what I mean, they did show parts of this, but in this scene when they showed it, they never showed Marie there. So I found that kind of weird. They didn't show that they had this conversation. So we found out that Latrice actually gave her some hair. Like she paid, not paid her, but she actually gave her some hair. And the mystery of it all is what are the receipts, Marie? Like if you purchase hair, just show the receipts. Is it on your credit card? Did somebody else buy it? What, what happened? Just show the receipts and we can kind of hash this out. But she can't prove no receipts. So... Um, they showed that unseen footage and her and Marie was up there having words. And what she said, babe, what's the song that we was playing? Big Bank, Take Little Bank. Girl, bye. Mm -hmm. 
I'm Once sorry. again, she playing with Monopoly money, honey. Women stuff. It's all this whole scene was all about <laughs> women stuff. So I have no comment. Yeah, no but comment. uh, so what, what are we going to next? Let's go on to Tambor. All right, uh, on exit school. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what do you mean? Uh, 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 it's not what we're talking about. Sit down, baby. Just like you were quiet on the other, sit down on Tambor. Oh man, can I put my ear, ear, my ear pods no. on? Um, so anyway, for the people that did not watch, that's why we're here because everybody didn't watch. So let's make sure we review everything. So Tambra um is talking and they are going over. Her, of course, like my husband said, you know, her eggs and, you know, the relationship that she had with the mind and how they may be trying to rekindle it. And um, found out that, <clears throat> um, of course, they were together for 16 years. But That's when a long she, time. yeah, when she got out of college, um, I think marriage was on the table. You know, he really wanted to marry her at that time. Or, no, she really and truly wanted to be married at that time. But I guess, you know, <clears throat> he wasn't. So she was like, I'm going to focus on my career. And her career kind of took off. And then at that time when they was in a relationship, she really wasn't focused on marriage like that, I'm assuming. And so um, now it seems like they're trying to rekindle some things. And um, he did what he did. I don't know how the process worked or whatever, but you know, they have frozen embryos. So I guess he did the connected her sperm with the egg and now they got little frozen babies in the freezer. I guess that's how they work. So, yeah. Anything you want to say, baby? No. All right. You cannot say nothing to me about saying something about Antoinette because your whole vibe about Tamara, you act like, honey, y'all. You now, you want to start this. You started this. You said, uh, we're going to call her Miss No Storyline. You remember that? You remember that? But did I ever act outright like you act outright? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, when they come to Antoinette, yeah. oh, but she, because y'all got hate. You ain't got, <laughs> no. I, I don't hate her. I don't hate her. I don't remove no. my mic and walk off. I don't sit there and say, I'm not going to say no. anything about her. So, no. no These I, are characters on a show. I get it, but I feel like Tamara is a forced character. She is no... Well, she enforced. That's all she got, you know. Let's now let's check out. This. I, oh, I'm gonna say this about her. I'm not hating on her. I don't dislike like her or anything like that. I don't wish no ill will towards her or anything. But she just don't have her character on the show. Don't have any substance. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So um, what now? Let's look at the seating chart because me and my husband talked about this now. As you can see on the as we're looking at the television on the right hand. Yeah. They yeah. have the bosses to me. That is Latrice and Antoinette, okay? They got their own business, own buildings. They doing big things. Yep. A, 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 at least Antoinette, she's, you know, working there. She's a dental. A dental. Yeah, she got her own practice. Yeah, she got yeah. her own practice. Yeah. I'm just talking about the actual building. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, fully up right. there or whatever. But then on the other side. What we got on the other side, baby? We got the. What we got? We got the DJ. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Yeah, that's what she is. <laughs> we got the. And then we got the... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the second. Well, we got what the blogger called her. Mm -hmm, okay. So, I mean, I don't know, no but, way, you know, yeah. you know, we got what the blogger called her. And then we got the um, the Street. housewife that's trying to... You buy a building. Yeah. You know, brunch lady. We call her brunch lady. Brunch lady, I, okay. I don't really know what she got going on, but brunch. Well, she, she, she the brunches. She the brunch lady. So, yeah. So, that's what we got on this couch, which don't <laughs> seem like a lot of money and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying Why to see how the people... Why her a brunch lady? Now, I got... That that's thing. what she is, a brunch yeah, lady. Now, you got that image in my head, her huh, with the little net on her head serving lunch <laughs> at a high think, school. I ain't <laughs> no, lunch lady. I ain't saying brunch lady. lady. Sound like lunch lady. She got a little thing on her head. Oh, what yeah. you want? That's oh, sloppy joes. She, <laughs> she kind of look like them. I'm just saying. So you know, I do, I do like the Latrice though. I yeah, mean, I, the, I got the, the, uh, yeah. Letitia. Letitia, yeah. Yeah, I do like her though. Yeah. She she seems real sweet. Down and she tries. Island. She tries to keep she everybody does. together. She does. So she does. we give her that credit. Oh yeah, for we give sure. Her that. For yeah. sure. Now yeah. uh, we be picking and prodding and joking on some of it. Yeah. Keyword. Some of it. Yeah. But yeah, I do. I mean, well, now, to be honest, yeah. Latrice, I, I, I do like, um, that's Latrice. I do like Letitia. Um, Letitia. So yeah. yeah. So now let's get on because it's the ending part of what my husband been trying to get to. So um, 
because one thing that they did say before I want to end this part is Latrice, you know, said that she did look at the, um, the hair that she had. And when she looked at it, she said that hair had like gold, stripes you know, it. stripes in it. And well, I yeah, guess little highlights yeah. and, or whatever. And she was like, you know, her, none of her hair, all her hair is human. Vir Who's that? Virgin hair? Or yeah. Like yeah. Virgin human hair. So, you know, she said that's not her hair. So. One thing that, oh, excuse me, y'all. One thing that Antoinette said, oh, look at Marie over there. She's smart. She's brilliant. She's a genius. Can I say something for you, Lola? Yeah. When she was saying that, I was saying, well, she's sucking up to Marie. That's I one did, thing. I yeah, I thought like she's sucking up. Then, I, oh, she's been sarcastic. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was kind yeah, of good. Yeah, yeah. She was sticking up for a friend, yeah. though. You know what I'm saying? And so she said, uh, and then Marie was like, well, they got the, what the, the footage, the yeah, tapes or something like that yeah. or whatever. And so said, bring the receipt. <clears throat> bring the receipt. Yeah. And then, so, you know, like I, I did post that on Twitter. He's getting a lot of likes. Okay. But I said that when... Um, <laughs> Marie was saying all that stuff to Latrice. That actually, she was talking about her. What you she know? was saying, so the people would know. What she was saying. Oh, she was saying that you know she is. Um, she talking about Latrice. Yeah, that mm -hmm. Latrice was a a little girl, and um, she insecure and she's jealous. I was like, and don't want don't other men come around her. Oh yeah, yeah. she said she don't like other women. She yeah. and any woman that come around that she jealous of it. I was like, well, that sound like you, Marie, mm -hmm. because you are jealous of this girl because she's young, young girl. girl. She's a boss chick. She's doing her thing. Look at her house. Look at she got you know actual employees. We ain't never seen yours, but um, oh, she got one employee. That's her she's a co-worker. I mean, they supposed to be oh. business partners. So, you know, um, so we we seen that. We seen an actual place, you know. Uh, somebody said that, that your building is probably just an empty office building that you probably just rented out for a second. Then Latrice came for you, baby girl. She said, baby, I own you rent, honey. I said, well. Like I said, women's stuff. Women's stuff. Women stuff. Okay. I so yeah, yeah. catty women. It's well, like, it's just like this, you know. Don't come for, <clears throat> don't come for somebody if you ain't ready for. It. And like Egypt said, Marie, y'all decided to do this television thing, so you got to be careful when you put yourself out there. People gonna expose all your business, so you got to be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? You got to be ready for the good and the bad. Period. That's what it is. So let's move on to this ending part, honey. Well, they brought out. Now, I know they, I think I didn't go back and rewind it, but they said, you know, about her name. She said she Kaylin. did that a lot. It's so Kaylin. it's Kaylin, but I guess people say Kaylin, you know, whatever. But anyway, so um, Kaylin came out with her little dress. Now, her dress was cute, I must add. And so um, they talked about the brunch. They talked about, you know, how um, she felt like, you know, everybody, I don't know, she felt like the minority. And um, when she went to that brunch and everything, she got to, you know, hear everybody's side and how they patted her and, you know, babied her and all that stuff or whatever. So it's just like, well, now you feel like how we feel when we are in a room with, you know, with, and we are the minority and people are saying stuff about us, you know, how we're going to respond and act. So what you want to say about that? Thank you. I can say something. She got on this real thing and went on and on and on. Well, first like of all, like the energy bunny. I said, God, I'm gonna have to take that battery out. Well, first of all, what you said, this girl stuff, I ain't got oh, nothing I, to say. I, I so, did say that. Okay, I then did, now yeah. this still girl stuff. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Why am I? Why am I doing this anyway? Yeah, you know the girl stuff anyway. Because uh, the people ask you to review it. Yeah, well. Uh, Oh, yeah, Kaylon. We talking about Kaylon. And sometimes there's some men on. He clear up and all that stuff. They, they gonna, on there. They gonna be on yeah, there. Next. Yeah, that's why I really ain't got nothing to say because yeah. none of the men went on there. It's all women, catty stuff. You know, cat fights. Uh, no, Kaylon. You know, you know, she see how it feels to be the minority, like she said. And sometimes it's not fun being the only person in that room. The only person of any color in that room, and you just got to sit there and. Just roll with the punches, basically. You know, now Kaylon see how it feels. You mm -hmm. know, and if people can reverse roles like that, I think other people would get a better understand how other people think right. and how they feel. That's true. So, and I think Kaylon feels that way. She she sees how you know, she understands how 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 things are, and she understands how we feel when we the uh, the minority in the room. And to me, that's a good learning experience for her. Right. 
And uh, but give it to your poem if you want to say that. But I think she learned too well. <laughs> Cause when Maria said Kaylon, uh, what she said, Kaylon was the one. Did you? No, she said, did you leak the to the uh, leak the information to the blogger? And Kayla. Well, first you skipping the part. What, what she said? Because they asked her about. Um, she said something about Marie. Because do you want to take back what you said? You oh know? yeah, you want yeah. Because she said Marie, you always want the, the spotlight on you, or you want to shine something like that, and you want you want the attention on you all the time. And they asked Kayla, are "You gonna t- you regret saying that? You, are you gonna take that back?" Kayla said, Mm-mm. "No." She said, no. "No, I'm not gonna take it back." And then she said that. Um, she said, "I know." And then she said, I know of some stuff. And then she said, I know her past. Right, I know her That's past. when she yeah. said, he's just like, okay, wait a minute. You know her past. What yeah. that mean? Then, then they said, uh, Marie said, did you go to the blogger? And what Kaylon say? say? Well, he said, yes. She said, yeah. I, it was me. Yeah. I was like, ooh, gangster boy. Mm-hmm. And then hesitate. Then stutter. Just came on and said, yeah, it was me. But Marie said all of them over the, on that side of the couch. Yeah, you know? but like Kaylin said, I'm taking up for my friend. You yeah. attacked my friend like like Essex did her. You know, when, when uh, Kayla and Marie got to it, Essex defended Yeah, she did. So Kaylin basically did the same thing with her friend. Yeah, but she played dirty. She like, played she dirt. She dirt on her. Yeah, see, <clears throat> see, you got to play fourth-dimensional fourth chess with some people. And that's what Kaylin did. Oh, yeah, you can clown and do all that you want to and show you behind. They came along and said, okay. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to be, I'm going to pull the strings from the shadows. <laughs> yeah. that's what she did. Well, I'm just going to say this. And like I said, we're not saying anything. We're not assuming nothing. We're not accusing anybody of anything. But this is, you know, we're just going by hearsay like everybody else is doing. Now, with the wig situation, if Maria did do the switcheroo with the wig, that speaks a lot about her character, mm-hmm. and if the, what the block is saying, what he's saying, it, you know, it kind of give that what he's saying some kind of, you know, truth to it. You know, and I'm not saying it is, but you know, if what they doing or what she did, if she did that, if it's true, and eh, you know, then you gotta look at Maria a little sideways, you know. So yeah, yeah, that's it. I don't want to say. All right, you guys, on that note, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Don't forget to go with God and let God go with you. And we will see you guys on the next video. Deuces.